the degree symbol is quite common. It is used for temperature, mathematical equations, and geographic coordinates. Let me show you three different methods you can use to insert the degree symbol. Hello and welcome. Let's change the word degrees to the actual degree symbol. So there are three easy ways to do this. The first one is we're simply going to insert a symbol. From the Insert tab, Symbol, More Symbols. Make sure that the font selection is on Symbol. If it's not, you can click the drop-down arrow and scroll to find it. Now once I know that I have the font symbol selected, I'm going to scroll down a little bit until I see the degree symbol. Once I find it, I click on it and then click Insert and Close. To find the degree symbol again in the future for this same method, Insert Symbols, it should be in your most recently used symbols. However, you should not rely on it always being there. So here is the second method. We're going to use autocorrect. In order to use autocorrect, we need to make sure that it's activated. So again, we're going to go to our Insert tab, Symbols, More Symbols, click on the Autocorrect button. Then you will need to click on the Math Autocorrect tab and make sure to put a check mark on this first selection here if you do not already have one there. Now if we scroll down just a little bit we'll see that the degree symbol is already included as an autocorrect. You'll see that it's the backslash then the word degree. So let's try that out. Backslash degree the space bar or enter and that will automatically turn that into the degree symbol. There is a third method and that is to create our own keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to select the degree symbol within my document. Again I want to go to my insert tab, symbol, more symbols, click on the shortcut key button, Notice my symbol is here in my commands. Now what I want to do is from my keyboard, I want to select a keyboard combination that I want to use for this shortcut. But I have to pick a key combination that is not already assigned. So let's say that I want to use Control D. So from my keyboard, I'm going to press Control D but I notice that it's currently assigned to something else, so I cannot use that one. I'm going to backspace. How about Alt-D? So from my keyboard, I'm going to press Alt-D, and I see that it is unassigned, so I think I'll go with this one. Now, do I want to save changes in? Normal is the template that is used for all new documents. So if you want every single document to have this keyboard shortcut, you can keep it at normal. Or you can just choose to use it locally in the document that you have open. And that's what I'm going to choose to do for this demonstration. Then we click on Assign, and we see that our current key has been added. I'm going to close, close out of my symbol dialog box, and let's try this. My keyboard shortcut, Alt-D. And there's my degree symbol. There you go. Three different ways you can insert the degree symbol or any symbol that you find yourself using on a regular basis. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I think you'd really like to check out this next video. Okay, if you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll see you in the next video.